So let me introduce ONAP's sixth release called Frankfurt. Um, and it has been announced today, June 18th. Um, just a quick refresher on ONAP. It's a de facto automation platform under Linux Foundation Networking. Um, over the last couple of years, three years, the community has grown significantly. Operators have grown significantly. And you know, Frankfurt is the most comprehensive and secure release uh, with a very interesting set of features that we will discuss today in this, in this uh, presentation. Uh, one word from the TSC, which is the technical committee. Um, and that's the last statement here, which is uh, this code has come together faster than any one product could do it on, it on its own. So we're really proud and excited about our community. This is a lot of text here, but I'm going to summarize it in, in less than 30 seconds. Sixth release, most comprehensive, secure, and collaborative. It's most comprehensive because of 27 sub-projects, 34 organizations, 400 plus developers, 14,000 commits, lots of security issues fixed. The key highlight why ONAP Frankfurt is so relevant is it introduces and supports end-to-end -end network slicing for 5G. And at the same time, it harmonizes and introduces all of the standards compliances, right? So including ORAN software community. Um, as well as there's a lot of security features and Kubernetes has a service features to allow for the smooth migration to cloud native. In terms of blueprints, uh, we introduced a new blueprint called multi-domain optical network. So historically ONAP has always been layer two, layer three. Now you're introducing layer zero and one in the automation space. So you have the full set of end-to-end -end automation from layer zero through layer seven, as well as uh, from core all the way to access in terms of ORAN. There have been uh, enhancements to allow deployment to happen very easily. So, you know, I call it the boring things, but things like CI CD patch process, right? Install ONAP, take it down, add automated tests, right? Things like that, documentation, et cetera. So really excited about this comprehensive and the most collaborative release called it ONAP. If you look at the details of contribution and who has been providing support, we're really excited to report that the top 10 contributors, uh, in the top 10 contributors, four of them are end users or service providers. Who would have imagined that an end user would be actually contributing code you know, three years ago, right? So we have come, uh, well along our way to our open source journey where it's a collaborative effort between open source community of uh, telco providers, vendors, system integrators, everybody. The architecture of ONAP, for those of you who have not seen this diagram, is three years old. And we're very proud of it because it has not changed. It's a modular architecture since inception and uh, different vendors and different people have built pieces out of it as well as some of them have used it for the entire platform. The one very important factor that allows ONAP to be inserted in a brownfield deployment with OSSPSS is the ability to be standard-based. We had a philosophy about a couple of years ago in the open source community under Linux Foundation Networking that if there's a standard coded, if there's no standard coded and then upstream it. And we are really happy to report that uh, Etsy, TM Forum, MEF, 3GPP, and now ORAN alliances have been our very, uh, very uh, favorable partners that allow us to implement the standards, right? the, whether, whether it's Etsy SOL or TM APIs or MEF uh, Northbound or even 3GPP stuff. Uh, and then this release for Frankfurt, we have an increased support for the OVEN and A1 interfaces. And just FYI, we host the ORAN software community at the Linux Foundation to create the software for ORAN Alliance. So all of this code is in Frankfurt. Now let's get to blueprints. The blueprints are very important. If you look at the diagram or the circle on the right, Linux Foundation hosts projects. Projects create a developer community. Developer community creates code and technology that goes into a product that gets deployed. People make money. Repeat the circle. Blueprints accelerate that 
lower half of that circle, you know, from products to production. Because they are really end-to-end -end interop tested solutions for use cases. So in Frankfurt, we are introducing 5G network slicing. We're introducing uh, a new blueprint called MDONS, um, which, as I said, integrates layer zero. And then it, in, and it obviously enhances several of the existing blueprints like cross-cloud VPN or broadband services or you know, others that have existed for quite some time. 5G, in our mind, is, is built on and for the open networking world. Uh, there are several reports from several analysts and press and vendors that predict 5G is very important. But the one I like particularly is that diagram on the right, where from 4G to 5G, proprietary systems become open source. And here you see a whole bunch of the LF projects that are helping achieve that vision. So ONAP on the right, Acrano at Stack as the edge uh, open source stack, and then ORAN as the open RAN solution on the access side. As I mentioned, 5G is a very critical feature. There's a blueprint. I won't go into the details of exactly what goes into the blueprint, but that blueprint is an end-to-end -end service orchestration, including the software for ORAN. There's also a network slicing support for end-to-end. -end. And then for those of you who are not familiar with network slicing, it's a critical feature for 5G where you can actually slice a network and optimize it for that various end applications like private LT or uh, drones or whatever. And ONAP has now in Frankfurt support for all these uh, management functions that are critical for 5G network slicing. The MDONS blueprint, is very simple. It's got the uh, APIs uh, from MEF and then anything southbound for the open daylight controller integrated into open road M, et cetera. Uh, take a look at the wiki for all these blueprints. And for, as always, if you want to uh, go into the specifics of each of these features, obviously ONAP wiki is the best place to go. Lots of security enhancements. And that's pretty much it, right? Sixth release, most comprehensive, secure, and collaborative with a very rich feature set uh, that I talked about, 5G, 5G network slicing, optical security, and all the automation and standardization. prompted us uh, is basically looking at the transition which was going in the industry mm -hmm. that in the cloud there is a need for acceleration of the infrastructure. <laughs>